All right, I just saw this, and before I move on to anything else, I love Dana Spade. You guys know that because he's amazing. So let's go. What's this? Dana Carvey and David Spade trade SNL stories. Let's go. Dana is an old buddy of mine, as you know. We did uh, old SNL, Wait, and we have a lot uh, at the same time. We overlapped a bit. I met you, I think, when you were 19. No, or 20. Oh, you met me at yeah. you're 19 or 20. You, know, you looked like a fetus with shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, fellas. <laughs> I want to be in show business. <laughs> no, no. He no. was always cool. I was constantly crapping my pants. You yeah. and Rob Schneider were the, uh, you know. We came on together. That's Coke enough. and Pepsi, Dennis Miller and I befriended you guys and yeah. recommended you guys. Yeah, it's Warren, perfect. Michaels, and then uh, what happened? And then, uh, <laughs> well, we have a million stories, but one of them I remember was we were, during the elections, you were playing George Bush, Phil Hartman was playing Clinton. George Bush Sr. Sr. Uh, Phil, was, pl uh, uh, Phil was playing Clinton. And then I I was, I was, wanted to try to do Ross Perot, he's someone running back then, and... Uh, kind of a crazy Texas Munchkin who just passed away. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. so, I said, and I called Smigel, and he goes, no, uh, I think Dana's gonna, and I'm like, Dana already plays Bush. So I got a call to play <laughs> Ross Perot in the election special in prime time. And uh, here's a picture of it, actually. So I do an hour of makeup. There I am on, the, on that side. <laughs> How are you taller than me again? Are you an apple box? <laughs> because uh, I, that's all I care about. So that's so, the wide shot. That's a wide shot. So we start the special. I'm so excited, I'm like, working on my Perot. And then they do, Dana does all his Bush, then uh, Clinton, you know, by Phil. And then they get to me and they go, hold, please. Thanks, David. Let's get Dana in the Perot makeup. And I would go backstage, get in the pro outfit, go over here. Yeah, I'd peel <laughs> off the bald cap. But you didn't do Bush in the white shot. You just did Perot in the white shot. No, I, no, that, I that was, was a little chump. That was A. Whitney Brown. <laughs> oh, did he do it in the white shot? I'm just kidding. I just oh. had a name to get you going. Don't worry, I'm already livid about but, this. But I rem <laughs> I remember you, because I was going back and forth just in the rehearsal, and you were over in the corner, and you had the wig on <laughs> and the pro. I'd never seen a more miserable comedian in my life. <laughs> you invited to the party and didn't have a line. It was just like... I know. Uh, it was so sad, and I was like, I came over in character. You all right? How you doing, young man? <laughs> we can made can it I, worse. Can I finish one time? Can I finish one time? It's, <laughs> it's a marathon, not a sprint. You understand? You understand? <laughs> Let me put it to this way. You can't put a porcupine in the barn, light it on fire, and expect to make licorice. <laughs> I looked at you. You made me amazing. feel better. You had one single tear coming down. Beep. The only reason we can tease you is because now, in 2019, you, you have your own show. Yeah, we can tease yeah. you. Wow. Yeah. My first time. Now, second time. I prefer just... OK, hold on. We. We, we've got to do something. We've got to do something else here. Hold up. Hold Shep. We're going to do... So here we go. Party on, Wayne. Party on, girl. Woo, woo. Okay, excellent. Hey, Mom. Mom, I'm doing a show, okay? Sorry, Wayne. Just doing a load of wise. I'm with the show. Hi, Garth. Wayne, I honestly don't understand how you managed to get everything you eat on the front of your T-shirts. Uh, Mom, this is fascinating for everyone, all right? Myself, I'm enthralled. Can you go, please? All right, I get it, I get it. I'm good enough to do your laundry, but not good enough to be on Wayne's World! Wayne's World! <laughs> good call, oh, Mom. I think you have a firm... Dilu, dilu, dilu. Okay, you guys have to hear the intro. Ready? It's right here. Party. I'm your excellent host, Wayne Campbell. With me, as always, is Garth. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. All right, now we'll go forward. Oh, is that Tom Hanks? Get out. Welcome to Wayne's World, Barry. Oh. Hi, Wayne. Hi. Uh, you know Garth, of course, right? Hi, Garth. Hey, Barry. Hi. Hey, look, good work on getting Aerosmith on the show, man. Well, I told him that Wayne's World was good for, for promoting their upcoming gig at the Aurora Civic Center, and uh, they went for it. Okay. All right, now, uh, 
Aerosmith's definitely here, right? Yeah, yeah. They're upstairs. Pros. Uh, uh, in the kitchen, sitting right at the table there. <laughs> at the... They're... You mean they're up there at the breakfast nook? Aerosmith is in my breakfast nook? Excellent! All right! Excellent! <laughs> all right, let's go to the nook cam, all right? <laughs> nook cam! Nook cam! Party time! The Nook Cam. All right, there they are. Aerosmith, this is amazing! There's Joey Kramer, Steven Tyler, Joe Perry, Tom Hamilton, and Brad Whitford. Aerosmith is sitting where I eat my nut and honey every day. Uh. I wouldn't, but he just said that, but it's okay. Let's see what the comments say. Cause I don't know if this will be blocked or not. A truly classic era of music. When real men dress like Atlantic City grandmothers, I would not have known that was Tom Hanks unless the camera zoomed in. Come on. Tom Hanks has to be the coolest, famous person ever. He doesn't just do things for the fame or money, but just because he thinks they'll be fun. That's why everybody should do things, because it would be fun. God. People do things for money and fame? Whatever. I can't believe it's Garth's cousin is Tom Hanks. Excellent. Aerosmith is in my breakfast nook. Wayne, Garth, Tom Hanks, and Aerosmith, just magnificent. That's why I had to show everybody. Jimmy Fallon wishes he was Mike Myers. I know. As much as I cannot stand SNL anymore, this was a 90s excellent skit. My mom must be stopped. Use violence if necessary. Excellent. Okay, you went too far. Don't ruin it for us. Don't ruin it. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, oh man, they're actually here. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Garth, <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> take your Ridlin, man. Take okay. your Ridlin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Barry, you're a roadie, right? It must be Chick Central for you. Yeah, you must be a citizen of Babylon. Well, yeah, uh, we get our share of the babes, but, you know, you don't have a lot of time, and there's a lot of other people to consider. I mean, there's the, there's a, the band, there's the sound guys, there's the lighting crew, there's management, there's, there's tour coordinators, record company people, security, and then, of course, us, the, the roadies. Okay, so what you're saying is that roadies are the bottom feeders in the Great Babe food chain. <laughs> right? Uh, that, that is not what I'm saying. Wait. Hey, man, come on. There's a ton of chicks that would rather go out with roadies than with a band. Yeah, all right. And later on, monkeys might fly out of my butt. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's see what's happening upstairs on the Nook Cam. Oh no! Oh no, my mom's there! She's talking to Aerosmith! Oh no, I'm dying of death! Oh, she's gonna say something stupid! Oh no, this is brutal! No, no, they're leaving! Oh no, she's making them take the house tour! The Walk of Shame! <laughs> Garth, go! My mom must be stopped! Use violence if necessary! Excellent! <laughs> okay, Barry. You're gonna do us a, a little bit of a demonstration of what you do on stage, yeah. right? Yeah, okay, what I do is I make sure everyone's got their heavy on, right. and I tune their guitars, and I bring them out on stage, and I set up the mics, and I make sure the scarves are always in the right place. And then, the most important thing, I gotta do the sound check. Check, 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 one, check, check, sibilance, sibilance. Check, 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 two, sibilance, sibilance. And that's pretty much what I do. Oh, that's good. Hey, did you get her to stop? Yeah, I stopped her. Okay, great. Anyways, Barry, uh, that was really- That's awesome. Okay, I'm trying to, like, make sure that this is not gonna get blocked, because I figured Aerosmith would be on by now. Socialism has been, um, a historical inevitability. Dude. Love it. Took me- no. Took, took you a while to realize it was Tom Hanks five years ago, Lufrec? What? Even Steven Tyler's regular talking voice is cool, help me. Uh, Steven Tyler is a living legend? I feel like Ew from Jimmy Fallon was inspired by this. Possibly. Ew. I had this on VHS and watched it about 80 times in school. <laughs> I love these comments. Garth Algar killing it on the drums? No way. Way. No way. Way. No way. Way. We aren't worthy of your excellence. When SNL was funny, stop it Joshua. Just when I thought I couldn't love Tom Hanks more. Um, how could you not? Wayne's World and Aerosmith. I can't handle. Gonna explode. Yeah, explode. Haha, ha, Joe Perry trying not to laugh when Steven Tyler and Tom Hamilton are talking about communism. Tom Hamilton or Tom Hanks? 
Okay, Christopher, go to sleep. Is that Tom Hanks? If so, my mind has been blown right now. Okay, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. You guys are... Ugh. Where is Aerosmith? I gotta forward this. Oh, I see them. Oh, snippity snap. Here we go. What just happened? A key. <laughs> That would be something Stephen Tyler does. He rolls on the couch. Almighty ones. <laughs> hi, Wayne. Hi, Garth. Thanks for having us on the show. Oh, Wayne, I'm so excited. I, I think I'm gonna hurl. <laughs> Garth, get it together, man. Don't hurl, because if you hurl and I catch a whiff of it, man, I'm gonna spew. All right? And if I blow chunks, chances are someone else is gonna honk, all right? Okay. And that's gonna set off a peristaltic chain reaction. All right? Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Make yourselves comfortable. Welcome to Party Central, but I just gotta say it. I think you guys are the greatest band in the world. Without a doubt! Without a doubt! Garth, Aerosmith are here. Okay, we had a lot of people, right? We told them that you guys were gonna be on the show, right? But they had a lot of questions, right? So, so here, here are the top three questions they had for Aerosmith, okay? Question number one. Is it true you guys don't do drugs or alcohol anymore? <laughs> yeah, that's right. No drugs, no alcohol. Feels great. No way. Look at look at Steven. Look at Steven. No way. Look at Steven. No drugs, look no it. alcohol. Feels great. Look at him. Look. <laughs> that is a guilty face. Oh snap. No way. Way. <laughs> no way. Way. Okay. Okay. Garth, go ahead, next question. Okay, next question is for Steven. Um, okay, are those really your lips or are they lip implants like Barbara Hershey had in the movie Beaches? <laughs> they mine, man. Bitch here, bitch and lips. <laughs> oh, lip mine. Liv Tyler, his daughter, has the same lips. Same lips. Oh my god, I can't believe they're here. I'm, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope this goes out, you guys. I really, 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 really. I'm freaking out. I might be getting older, but this skit never will. Hockey fan for life, you're right. This must be the single best episode of Wayne's World. So glad it's popped up. I know! Mac DeMarco's humor has been borrowed from Mike Myers' character. Well, they borrow a lot of 90s stuff. I love that. Dap roadie cousin being all busy roadying in someone's basement. Nice Gene Cavanaugh. Aerosmith is great. I wish I grew up in this era. I listen to them because my dad has a bunch of their music. L-O-L. My uncle. My uncle did. If Wayne and Garth were in dire straits, they'd be the sultans of showing. Nice, the cue. Nice. Aerosmith were cleaning back on top during the time. I think it was 1989-ish during the Pump album tour. Rip Phil Hartman. Yeah, Phil Hartman died tragically. Garth is killing those drums. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys. I think that's the last one. I don't have to do any more pausing. I'm sure it should go through now. Easter. Okay. With the recent developments in Eastern Europe, do you think that communism is on the decline, or is this just a temporary setback? Well, man, that's a hard question. But I would have to respond with a qualified yes. <laughs> Although it seems that socialism is in repose until you remove the Stalinist era party apparatchiks, there will be no real change in the Soviet Union. No, I disagree, man. There's never been a blueprint for the dictatorship of the proletariat, so there's bound to be mistakes. <laughs> Get out of here. However, if you study history, you'll see that since the rise of the nation state, that socialism, socialism has been uh, an historical inevitability, dude. <laughs> All right. Excellent. 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 Okay. Fascinating. Okay, we're just about out of time, right? But it's always been my fantasy to play with you guys. And I was wondering if you wouldn't mind singing the Wayne's World theme with me. Right. Yeah? Right. Let's go do it. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, let's do it. All right. Check. Check, check one. one. Sibilance. 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 Check. Check. Check two. Sibilance. Sibilance. Oh, it's 
fantastic I am a huge Aerosmith fan you guys probably did not know but yeah just like journey I grew up listening to Aerosmith um, I painted one of their album covers like as huge as that on my wall when I was living um, with my uncle so I love them let's go we got more to do